So corgis are working dogs. They really enjoy having a task to do. Ah, so whenever I come and play video games over here, my corgi Gatsby likes to play games by himself, yeah? So I thought today I would show you guys what he actually does. If you're gonna play games, I'm gonna play my own games, yeah? Gatsby is such a busy dog. He's such a working dog. <laughs> Let's start the vlog! Oh, hello Gatsby, good morning! You're like a door wedge. <laughs> oh no, Gatsby! I'm stuck in the upside down! Mm -hmm. We're stuck in the upside down again, Gatsby! What happened? We gotta swim out! Help me swim, Gatsby, swim! <laughs> swim, swim, we gotta swim, Gatsby, we gotta swim! Thank you. Yes, yeah, swim, 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 swim. Gatsby, swim. We did it, Gatsby. We're right side up. <laughs> swim, 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 swim. Yeah. Thank you, Gatsby. You're helping us. You're helping us save the day. Someone's right there. Good morning, everybody. I'm here with my sister. She's here for the day. We're gonna be making some Dutch babies for breakfast. Let's do it. Okay. So we're gonna need one half cup of butter and preheat the oven to 425. And we're gonna let the butter sit in there while the oven preheats. Okay. Six eggs in a blender. Four. Five. Six. Go one ahead. and a half cups of milk. One and a half cups of flour. Okay, we're gonna blend it for 60 seconds on high speed. We're gonna pour in the milk gradually. There it goes. Since we don't have a funnel, I'm just gonna use parchment paper to pour it in. 30 seconds. Okay, check it out. The butter's all melted. So all we have to do is pour the mixture into the pan. Now we want to put the pan back into the oven for about another 20 to 25 minutes. Make sure it's in that bottom row. Is that a Dutch baby? Do you see it in the oven? Yeah? Mmm, <laughs> Dutch babies. Yeah. Look we have here. I went to watch Detective Pikachu. I wonder if I got Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu, <gasps> shiny Charmander. So a lot of you guys were asking me what my opinion was on Detective Pikachu. Pikachu looked really, really good. The uh, All the Pokemon looked really good and visually it was like a spectacle. It didn't look like they were, the humans were just like acting with air or whatever. It actually did look like Pikachu was there when he was interacting with it and that was really cool. But I thought that the story, the plot seemed very, very familiar to 
Zootopia. Z Zootopia and Detective Pikachu were about the Pokemon or the animals and some of them going rabid and trying to figure out what's going on. They both came to a city that had um, animals in it. Remember the slots? It seemed very similar to Mr. Mime. You saw in the trailer there was that mafia guy who had a Charizard. It seemed very similar to the mafia in Zootopia. Oh, and they both end up going to an abandoned laboratory. I don't want to give too much away, but if you saw the ending of Zootopia, you might have seen the ending to Detective Pikachu. Hmm. Out of four stars, I would give it like two and a half. So better than half. It's worth seeing, especially if you like Zootopia. It's rising. Look, it's a happy face. Eyes and mouth. Keep a corner free for Gatsby. It looks like such a happy face. Now we just carry this to the dining room table. Let's go. Gatsby's like, what's going on? It's breakfast time. <laughs> Ooh. Blackberries and raspberries. Oh, that smells really good. Coconut. Maple syrup. That looks really good. Mmm. It's kind of like an eggy, thin pancake. It's kind of like a crepe, but it has, it's more like fluffy. The coconut whipped cream makes it taste really good. Yeah, that one's really good. We have the unsugared area over here. Oh! Stay. What does that taste like, Gatsby? Your first Dutch baby. <laughs> Oh. So I thought I would share with you guys some pretty exciting news. Gatsby and I just got approved to be a vendor at this coming CorgiCon in June. Yeah, Gatsby! CorgiCon takes place in Ocean Beach in San Francisco, California on June 15th. Like a thousand corgis running on the beach. You don't have to have a corgi to attend and it doesn't cost any money. Gatsby and I are gonna be having a meet and greet booth as well as selling some of our Corgi on Fleek merchandise. We're gonna have a lot of work ahead of us get everything all ready for CorgiCon. If you want more information about CorgiCon, I'll put the link in the description below. Now we gotta work on some new merch. Okay, I'm getting ready to head off to the gym. We're gonna hit some everything. So we'll see you guys there. ka -chong! Got a good workout in. Would you like a chicken fillet? Oh, look, look at his paw. Right over here. Let's see if he finds it. Okay, come and find it. Where is it? Is it trying to smell? Where is it? <laughs> that summer sun. I smell something. When I first <laughs> oh, you found it! You found it! Good job, Gatsby! You got it! Shall we open some mail? We got two packages really fast. This is from Samantha from La Mirada, California. Gatsby, let's see what it is. It feels like it's for you. Ooh, rope toy. Organic herbs for dogs. Echinacea, dandelion roots. Okay, yes. What is this? It's a cat. Who sent this to us? There's no letter. There's no, there's no note. Hello, Gatsby. I'm a cat. <gasps> You ate his face. Don't be so rude. <laughs> Twinsies. Are you guys best friends now? You're teaching Domino some new tricks. Thanks, you guys, for sending us those awesome gifts. Hey, Gatsby, do you want to go to Bernal Heights, the doggy park in San Francisco? I'm excited. I haven't been there in a while. It's really nice. Corgi doggy so crazy right now. We are at Bernal Heights, Gatsby. Are you ready to go and meet all the doggies? Look at the view of San Francisco. Oh. I keep forgetting how witty it is up here. 
Look at the hat. What do you think, Gatsby? We just dropped Gatsby off and we are headed off to dinner. We're gonna go to this udon restaurant. Should be pretty good. Look at that. My friend said to get the oxtail one. There's Naruto on the wall there. There he is. You got it? Yeah. This is the tail with the bone in it. It smells really good. And this is the noodles. And then what did you get? I got the spicy oxtail udon. Ah. Mm, that's good. So the noodle is nice and like thick and chewy. Super flavorful. Super good. And the meat is like super tender. And it comes with garlic chips. Super good. Oh that was so delicious. What did you think? Very good. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. What's up, Gatsby? Oh, thank you. So in the next vlog, I thought that I would try something a little bit different and have you guys come up with the topic of the vlog. What does that mean, Gatsby? The best idea for the next vlog will win a $25 gift card to corgionfleek.com. <gasps> Click on the link in the description below and fill out the form with your idea on what you think I should do for the next vlog. Whoever has the best idea, I'll do it in the next vlog. If multiple people come up with the same idea, the first person who came up with the idea will win the gift card. Anyway, other than that though, I'm gonna head to bed. It was a super long day today. Yeah, Gatsby, we got to play video games. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go to CorgiOnFleek.com if you want to see any of our new merchandise. And we got to get ready for CorgiCon. Good night. Good night. Hey, Gatsby, check out this awesome fan. Today, I'm gonna be making some Japanese souffle pancakes. Super fluffy, super tall, and super difficult to make.